<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Hi, Adele. She's here waiting. Shake that tree. <laughs> Hi, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello, hello, everyone. I'm trying to get this set up here. Okay. There we go. Oh, we just got notified. We're live. Notified. Notified. Looks like Adele and Jen. Renelle, hello. All right, I'm going to stay on the uh, StreamYard side. How's everybody doing? It's Jen, good you to doing be okay? Here. Good to be here. Oh, Sunita's here. Hello. Splat. Splat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sunita. Hello, Greg. I hope you didn't bump your head. Greg is Amy's boyfriend. Hello, Greg. Hello, sir. <laughs> good to see you in here. It's good to see everybody. I don't know. Who else is live? Oh, there's probably Not lots you. of people. Sunita, you're going to blame me shaking that tree and you falling out of it? <laughs> you betcha. I didn't mean to shake you out of the tree. I didn't know you was in there. Adele's up there hanging out with Tarzan. Ooh, he's kind of handsome, especially the cartoon. <laughs> I will say which one? <laughs> <laughs> cartoon. Suzanne is hooked. There she is. Hi, Suzanne. How are you tonight? I don't know if I want to do it with this. With what? Oh, the coral? I don't know. Sure. Why not? Do a white border? Okay. There white is border. Joy, Joy, Joy. Hello, Joy. Hi, Joy. What's everybody's weather tonight? It's 42 and clear here, and I get a ding, naturally. What's your weather? I don't know. Let's see. Adele fell out of the tree. There she is. <laughs> 20 degrees right now. What? 20? 28. 28. Oh, 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 you can have it. So it's supposed to be a high of 41 tomorrow. Ah. Well, it feels like 23. I can't stand cold weather. I'm a baby. Me too. I'm a fair weather girl. How am I go outside? There's too many bugs. <laughs> oh. oh, Sunita's got 29. Oh, poor baby. I'm sorry. It's cold up here. Plus, she's in the Windy City. LOL. Sunita has me crocheting an owl. An owl? You guys are doing penguins. I was, wait, I was about to say, I thought they were penguins, but I didn't want to say. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll say it. Just tell me. <laughs> hey, Kim. How are you, Juan? Hi, Kim. Mm -hmm. That was you, right? I plugged in. Oh. But not the bell. Wasn't me. Are you sure? 51 in part of Texas, Renal. <laughs> Sunita says, it looks like owls. <laughs> <laughs> if we change this to this, will they look like little doggies sitting there <laughs> if we put ears on them 
<laughs> Adele, oh my God, why am I thinking? Ow, oh, dang it. <laughs> You've been hanging around with them up there in that tree. That's why. That's too funny. Too, too, too funny. I hear the dog barking. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes, I did. Last night I heard kittens, and I swear if there's a cat around here that laid kittens or had kittens, I'm not going to be happy. Uh oh. Do you hear a lot of. Yes. <laughs> you know how the cats start. Hey, Miss C. How are you? Oh, my friend. You know, when mommy comes and they meow, 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 meow. That's what I heard. So not the one um, having babies. No. That's good. And this is not the right time of year to be having babies. And there's Maritza. Hello, sunshine. Hi, Maritza. <clears throat> Missy, how are you doing tonight? You feeling good? and see what you hooked up. I don't have the notebook or... don't need a hair tie, Sunita. And you can just guess we're, if you want to. We're going to change it up just a little bit to make it a little easier. So, real simple. Oh, it's going to be so simple you're, uh, a caveman can do it. <laughs> simple friendly. Miss C said she is well. Doing good. Oh, there it is. I was waiting for her to say something. And she did. Well, you know I'm slow, Adele. <laughs> <sighs> Don't pick on my ancestry, Ivy. <laughs> Miss C is back. She is picking on me too. So, well, I started it. I started it. But I'm glad she's back. Yeah, but she's come doing her comeback. So that's great. That's why I said I'm glad she's back. I always felt guilty Hi, picking on. There's Nisi. Hello. Nisi, did you go back and watch the live last week? I opened. My package from Alicia. Sure, she watched it. <laughs> Why are you Facebook smiling? I have to sit on my feet, guys. I don't know why I just do. I'm on one. You're on one? Sid always asks me, how can you sit on your feet like that? Because his knees won't bend. It's like, I've always sit on my feet like that. We got 19. Well, at least we got somebody showing up wanting to do it. Who all here is going to make the, what are, you, what are we calling them? Uh, uh, oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think and talk. And there, there's Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. I didn't open my up my soda. It's not a bookmarker. No. It's a notebook pen holder. Yeah. It all started. Uh, I was going to do a video on like the last. Uh, 10 things, last minute gift ideals that you could do real quick. And I come across a pattern and I thought, all right, I'll try that and see it. And that was the first one. That was this one. And it had all the stuff like the tie and everything. And I 
put it together and it's like, I don't like that. I just didn't like it. So then I said, well, I can do better. <clears throat> Adele, you can use pretty much whatever. But if you have a four weight, a three weight, something like that would be best probably. You can Doesn't use, matter. You can use a Synthonia. You can use uh, La Mia cotton. I'm using I Love This Yarn. You can use I Love This Yarn. The, the two examples is this is a number four weight. And this is all it's going to be is you're going to do a <laughs> row of single crochets for about 12 to 14 inches, depending on your book. And we're not going to put we're not going to put a rubber band or anything like that on it. We're going to just put a strap on the back. Perfect. Just a strap on the back. So it'll go around the book. Then you're going to put you some ink pens in there or you don't want to use it for your ink pen and somebody's writing a pattern down. Stick your crochet hook in there. That's yep. what we're going to be doing. Red Heart Super that's Saver. True. You can use Red Heart Super Saver. And I'm glad you brought that up because that's what this one is. And this one has a flap. So, believe it or not, this is a single crochet stitch. And this is a single crochet stitch. Hey, Michelle. So, you can do either one. It'll be easy. All you're going to do is start a uh, single crochet row you go fold it up some close it with the lid close it or not close it but you're still going to do the same thing on the back is to go around cool Anna Michelle, you are so funny does that work hi everyone huh as i'm reading Anna michelle's comment i just can't warm up oh i'm sorry i know you're cold up there too even took a hot shower as my menopause going in reverse. <laughs> You're about the first woman that's ever said that. Yep. So that's, let me get some purple. Let's this, hope not because you don't want to have to go through it again. <laughs> no, I never went through it. That's just, I don't know why, but hey, I'm lucky. Hi, Sheila. Welcome in. Sheila. Driving up in your driveway, please open the front door. Shut the front door. Open it, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> We're goofy here. Well, I know I am. <laughs> I will try it. I don't know if I can finish it today. This is when I get interruptions. And Oh, okay. It's all right. It's going to be so simple. Like I said. Miss C's uh, relatives will can do it. <laughs> Burn. <clears throat> right, you guys, probably, you guys <laughs> can't, probably can't see, but I got my lights hanging that we made last time. Uh huh. Shut my light off. Oh, you can't see mine either. There you go. Can you see them now? Yep. Saw them before. Mine's right here, but you can't see them. <laughs> There they are. They're up so there. so much fun making them. I made many ones. Real little. Yay, mini. Rainbow yarn. Love it. So I'll hang these up next time for next week. Sandrine, you can use a, uh, a four weight. <clears throat> if you can use a 3.5 on a four weight, that's what I would use. You want it tight, but it, you can go up to a four. My lights are hanging too, Ronell says. I'm back. Had to take the fur babies out. And it's freezing up there. It's cold here and I'm complaining about 42 degrees, so. Yay. So, is everybody about ready to start or... I'm going to clear right. what I have here. Two, three minutes. Okay. We're going to give a 
Give a dell. There's my sweet sunshine. Hey, reach up the so Christmas lights from like I'm working on the Christmas lights from oh okay. Well we have a good one tonight. I hope everybody enjoys it. Make sure you um take a read through the banner. Yes. It's good to see you, Rita. I don't get to see you too much. Hi, Regina. There's Regina. How are you tonight? Mm. Oh, I can't stand this. Can't stand what? What is the tissue paper for? Tissue paper? What tissue paper? Her face, blue smile, and heart shape. Are you talking about her video that she made? Oh, yeah. The video may make you cry. I can't. I was going to point to it, but I can't point to your screen right there. Right, right up there. Okay. Here's that. Ooh, we will get magic hands. And I love your Christmas lights, honey. Thank you, Rita. I loved making them. So I made mini ones, too. Okay, do you think I need to switch the camera? Oh, not tissue paper, but tissues. Yeah, that was for her video that she made. You made me cry. That was sweet of her. I know. Uh, I had the box for over a week and I kept saying, I've always said, you know, hi, Chris, hunka hunka, Rita or hunka hunka's here. I kept saying, I, I know I'm going to do poorly in the video because I wear my heart on my sleeves and I'm easily, I can easily cry. I'm tender hearted, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> you know, dang it, Ivy. Ugh, so sweet though. Yes, it was. Very sweet. I'm very, I'm, it looks just like my logo. It looks just like it. I just love it. Yeah. Well, since I'm a slow crocheter, we probably better get started. Regina says she, she cries easy too. You guys, I cry. Look, over the simplest things. I can't watch a movie and see a dad hug his child. I start crying. Anything military makes you cry. Yeah, anything. Taps. No, it's just. <laughs> so do you think it's I should turn the camera down? Probably so they can see what you're doing, I guess, huh? Okay. Well, handle the show while I do this, okay? Oh, I already showed everything. Now, oh, <laughs> I'm in the festive spirit, guys. <laughs> what is that? The red, the red hat club? Is that what you're in there? Mm. The red hat? Red hats? No, red hat society. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, red hats with purple. Oh, I've got not my drink oh, over. So Omg, I would have been so. Oh. See, I'm oh, not like Jim. I don't have two cameras. I didn't watch it because my anxiety is crazy and I can't add crying to it. The Sandrine. Like a knight of old. 
hard and crunchy on the outside, but soft and gooey on the inside. Missy. Rita was crying too. Why? I didn't mean to make everybody cry. What are you asking me? I didn't I didn't ask you, Nisi. I just was well, I did ask. Did you watch the live from last week? I showed what Alicia sent me. Okay. Hello, Crystal. So let's see. Right hand. Yep. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's the <laughs> Crystal came in. Crystal, how are you, honey? Imitation of life will have you boo boo crying. Yeah, I don't know. I cry over a bunch of stuff, but that's that's the worst. I can't watch, you know, a parent hugging their child. I go. <laughs> <clears throat> So true what she said on the letter that she wrote in the back of the picture. Yes. Oh, and when I did the first video, I thought it was it. And I, you know, was sitting there dabbing my eyes. And I looked down and I was like, what? Wait, what is that? And then I read it and it was like all over again. It was like, oh, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm glad she wrote it on the back because I guess whenever I'm down, I can just, you know, read that and think about it. Are you crocheting with us, Crystal? Yes, she's going to crochet with us. Right there, go there. Are you guys all ready? I cry at movies. I try not to watch them because my nose stops up and I can't breathe. Oh. Mine runs like I said. Just. I don't. I did cry on. I, if you guys saw uh, Shane. An old movie. Shane. At the end of it, he says, Shane, come back. I started crying then. <laughs> oh. I feel you. Look at Dreeny. She cap letters. Ready? Crystal. Somebody, do the, somebody do the set and then somebody do the go and we'll start. How about that? <laughs> I'm cooking and I do have a notebook obsession, so I will make one, Crystal. Okay. I just love you too, Crystal. Beautiful friends on the YouTube. We do. We do, Rita. Sweet Tammy. Hello, sunshine. How are you feeling today? Hi, Tammy. Are you coming on Saturday? Come on over. Regina, Regina. saw Shane. Yep. I, that's about the only movie I could sit down and watch. Somebody, Miss C said set uh, and Adele said go. Okay, let's get with this. All right. Old Yeller makes me cry at the beginning. And Nita's got to write it in caps too with G O explanation, explanation, explanation. Okay. They run together. I don't know if there's four or five of them. <laughs> <laughs> I took an IQ test today that had something very similar to that. If you could actually see how many explanation marks there was. Then your IQ what? test. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't want to read my score because <laughs> I'm not very smart. Oh, yes, you are. No, I don't think so. Too close to Christmas. Aww. All right, Tammy. Well, you okay, can see me this time then. Okay, go ahead. No matter what yarn you're using. Okay, Sunita, calm down, honey. We'll get there. <laughs> no matter what yarn weight you're using, you're going to chain 11. You know, that's one, two, three, four, <laughs> to 11. Get to 11. Same if you chain. do not take the IQ test, it's one, <laughs> two. I'm going to crochet your lights now, and then I'll make what you're making tomorrow. And watch. Okay, Rita. Thank you. 
So we're going to chain 11. One. And if you're using a three, you can use a four way, use a 3.5 if you can use it, or you can use a four. It does not matter. I wouldn't go any higher at all. And all we're going to do is work in the back bumps, and we're going to do 10 single crochets across. So go in the back bump back here. Hello, Zach. Mm -hmm. Jeanette. Welcome in. And do a single crochet. Hey, Zach. You feeling better today, bud? Train. Hear it. All I didn't right. pay attention to it, though, until you said something. <laughs> I'm like a bad penny. Keep showing up, huh? Say train. It's cool. Makes me realize I got stuff going on around me. I know it's like a grandfather clock when they ding on the half hour and a quarter after or quarter till. Mm -hmm. Mine goes off and I don't even hear it. I went to work on my day off. I got some extra hours. Oh, good. Christmas time, too. And you... That is good. So, single crochet in the back loop back across. You should have 10 of them. So, chain 11 and back loop, single crochet across, 10. Chain one. On your next row, right, chain one, and we're going to single crochet back across for 10. Go in your very first one and do 10. And believe it, guys, that is the whole pattern for 12 to 14 inches, depending on the book that you have. So you could sit in front of the TV and do this stitch easily. I have a lot of trains over here too, and I'm so used to it. Right, Rita? I'm like three blocks away. You wouldn't think you'd be able to hear them, but you do. Oh my, the train. We have a train. Some of them rattle too. Way, way, way away, but because we hear it. <laughs> So that's the, that's the only thing you're going to do for 10 to 12 inches. Now, is it that much for just a little short notebook? Um, only back loops in the uh, first one. Well, I guess you could do back loops if you wanted to. I'm doing a single crochet in both loops. You don't have to. Did you chain one and turn? Yes, Kim G, chain one and turn. And single crochet across. You will have 10 at the end of every row. I would have uh, I would have liked to have taught the the two of them that look alike. One is a single crochet and the other is a single crochet, but the stitching looks totally different. It does. It's a pretty stitch. It's one of them stitches that if you require something, you know, a fidget where you got to have some texture to it, that would have been a good one. Sure. <clears throat> I like to have a 
cable running down this middle of mine. I don't know if I can do the math to do that. Well, a cable is either four, is usually the smallest cable is three, but you could do four. And my phone keeps going. That must be somebody went live, huh? I'm listening. Had a rough day. Had to go to the cemetery. Oh, Jeanette, I'm sorry. Hello. Welcome in. Cemetery to put some, put some stuff. Do you get to put stuff out at Christmas time? Is it? How do they do it? You put stuff out through the winter and not through the summer because of mowing and stuff? I don't know. I'm subscribed to somebody that says every time they put something up at their sister's um, cemetery thing, mm -hmm. somebody steals their stuff. That is ridiculous. I mean, I would... Oh, I would have to sit out there and wait for somebody. It's got to be somebody very close that knows that somebody did that. Rudy's here. Hello, Rudy. How are you tonight? One, of my, drivers, one of my drivers said um, he'll put a shepherd's hook at his wife's grave. He says, I've lost three of them. But it's only because... If you don't get them off the grave before the expire date, then they'll just take them. I'm like, they could have a garage sale and resell them and make money on it. Well, yeah, them shepherd's hook are expensive. Yeah. I have four of them for my hummingbirds. I like to watch those hummingbirds. Oh, yeah, we had a ton of them this year. How's everybody doing? Snagging my yarn. Stop that. I don't, why would anybody want to steal something from a graveyard anyway? That just... How do you sleep at night knowing you've done that? I wouldn't know. It's crazy. People don't care about other people's things anymore. If you have it and I want it, I'm going to take it because you have it and I want it. Well, that's true, and too. That's okay. Her her seven. Oh, okay. We have hummingbirds on our gravestone. Oh, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Military cemetery. So you can't, you, there's probably other rules you have to follow there. Probably can't put flowers out whenever you want to, can you? They probably do it for you. I know, Ivy, that is so sad that they stupid that. that I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was hoping they had bad nightmares at night, is what I was hoping. <laughs> Well, you know, they say that's how uh, spirits actually get in your house is when you take something. Um, well, um, you can carry a spirit into your house by like buying something at a yard sale or a store or something like that. Really? Yeah. I'm not leaving my house ever again. <laughs> just be careful uh not to bring anything in i like to go to garage sales too thrift stores hi cricket wreaths and flags yeah yeah cricket you want me to pick you up saturday on my way through You know you want to. <laughs> Her 
They're going to Michigan Fine Yarns on Saturday. Or they follow you when you move. Yes, cricket. Miss C says yes. <laughs> you picking her up? Too. <laughs> um, I'm not coming to Florida. Are you up here? <clears throat> I would so happily do that. Slide on through. Just kidding. <laughs> Crystal, you come over. I'll pick you up. We'll go the rest of the way to Michigan. I'm it's not till Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do till Saturday? There's no yarn in my town. She's Walk got a hitchhike. Hang on. She's got to catch a ride. <laughs> oh. I'm joking, Crystal. I'm joking. <laughs> Yikes. It's my grandson's 18th birthday party on Saturday. Oh, oh. you're going to miss it out. That's a big one. Oh, yeah, 18. You know, that's when they're grown up now. That's when my grandson went stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and he won't be back for another seven years. <laughs> I would go, but payday isn't until next Friday. Oh, you don't have to buy anything. There's going to be people there. <laughs> Checking to, to the yarns. <laughs> it's just be people, people. Sounds is like more than, I'm sorry. Oh, I was going to say, is anybody close to 12 inches, 14 inches long? One and a half. Does that count? Oh, you're at one and a half? Okay. Well, I was no, taking it. Didn't <laughs> I'll also contribute for gas. Well, there you go. Hey. Oh, my nine. Row nine. I'm talking, you know. You'll have to check on that um, Ann yarn that I like at. Uh, yes. See if Elmo. they have it anymore. She says Elmo is Italian. Ah. The pasta. Mm. I hear Italian. I think pasta. What is your favorite pasta? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yep. What's everybody's favorite pasta? That's probably why I have heartburn all the time. Bunny Ivy barely on row nine. You're on the oh okay. I'm being slow. You are? Yeah, because I I um uh, I'm reading and looking out the top of my glasses, looking down my glasses to crochet. <laughs> That's like doing four things at one time. I'm good. You're good. I like chicken alfredo. Thin spaghetti, yeah. Lasagna, ooh. I like homemade lasagna, not somebody else's mine. One thing I don't like, though, is those noodles that don't get sauce on them when you cook them, and they're hard. Ooh. Fettuccine, yep. Yeah. I ain't had lasagna in a long time. Alfredo is the best. But you know, sometimes the sauce on the, um, like we, I ate it, uh, what was it? <clears throat> was it the Olive Garden that has it? What? Their sauce was so thick. It was, uh, mm, it's my favorite. Okay, so I went to Olive Garden with um, Lynette, Charmed Grammy Crochet. Yeah. <laughs> We're sitting there talking, and you know how they bring your food out, and they have the Parmesan grater thing? Yeah. Would you like some Parmesan cheese? And I said, yes. Tell okay. me when to stop. <laughs> Tell me when. I said, go till your hand hurts. <laughs> 
Oh, my God. Raised him since he was two, and to see him become a grown young man, my heart is sad and happy at the same time. You bet. Yes. You bet. Flower Timmy has lasagna every Christmas. Olive Garden, right, Sunita? Mm. I haven't been to Olive Garden in a long time. Just leave the cheese. <laughs> You're frying what? Sopas? And you what? Yeah, their salad's good. Um, I don't like those. The black olives. Oh, I love black olives. I don't like the onions. I don't like the banana peppers. Jeez, what you, what do you like? The lettuce and the Parmesan cheese. <laughs> you tell his hand hurts. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's funny. Mm. And I went to eat out with Sunita. That was fun. Did some shopping. Hi, Kay. Yes, hello, Kay. How are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? Oops. <laughs> Just break out in song. <laughs> no, I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> oh, my son hates that. He'll say something to like, me or his dad will just start singing the line from the song that came from. Yeah. He's, you guys always have to sing everything. <laughs> that would be funny if he had a comeback for that. <laughs> yep. We're doing well, Miss Kay. Can you say roll tide, Miss Kay? <laughs> oh. She knows I'm going to say that to her. Yes. We're Sandrine. She was in here. Sandrine, you making this? <laughs> I was waiting for Jean, uh, Dreamy to do it first. <laughs> the lasagna for Christmas this year was back and forth ham or lasagna. <laughs> so ham will be the New Year's dinner. Good. Rita. <laughs> no, thank hey, you. Okay, no, thank you. <laughs> he is, Rita. That's so funny. Did you play it for him or what? Does he say it like I do? I searched the world. In the <laughs> Gina. <clears throat> yes, yeah, cool. I searched the world over and thought about you. <laughs> So this is what mine is looking like. Oh, look at that. And the coral is going to turn out pretty good. I didn't think it would, but. Mm -hmm. Yes, I told him how rude he tries. <laughs> I say that to Sid. I say that to Sid too. How rude. Oh, look at you go. You got more than I got. Are you using a four or a three? Three point five or four? Three point five foot. Wow. Dang, I'm being slow. Row fourteen. Right. I'm gonna so catch on row fifteen. Measure it. Why should I even measure it when I know I'm not close? You're not even near twelve or fourteen. Nope. Two just over two and a half inches. You got a long ways to go. A short time to get there. <laughs> See how we're doing this? Tight. 
time enough for counting in the beginning. It's done. Let's see. I came in late. What are you guys crocheting? Well, I'm glad you asked, Rita. Let me do this last stitch because I might forget what I'm doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Hard to forget the crochet stitch. Yeah, a single crochet. So if you're looking for something for last minute gift, we're doing these little wraps set around a um, notebook, a little notebook journal to where you put a couple ink pens in there that you can give as a little gift. Or if you're designing a crochet pattern or something, you can put your pencil and your pencil in there. Pencil in so your hook. That? Yeah. How about that? What? Nobody answered you? How rude. We're sorry. Thought it was what? a secret. Yeah, we're making all these for you, Regina. We're going to send them to you. That's what the secret was. See, this is a single crochet too. But look at the ridges. These both are the same, same stitch, just how you place them. Wow. I'll start one right now. How many did you chain? 11. <laughs> Row. Chain 11, and then when you're done, you'll have 10 single crochets going across. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> don't forget that don't forget the emery lulu hi ivy b hi jen oh hello lulu hi cindy hello lulu you can do back loop but you don't have to do back loop on I lost my hook. Oh, it's in the thing. <laughs> hook down. Hook down. <laughs> I forgot I put it in there. Showing it all. Okay. Um, here's something too, guys, that it doesn't matter what size book you have. You're going to have a different. Um, so here's a big one here. Well, it's about the same size, but I'm just saying, if you had one like this, you wouldn't, you wouldn't crochet 12 inches. You would want your ink pen to set like that and crochet up to it and then a little bit more to go around. So it may not be 12 inches. Depending so, on what your notebook size yeah. is. So you might want to keep checking to see on your notebook how far up you got to go. Like these are seven by fives. So seven, seven inches up. But you're going to fold it over. So you need those extra. So you're just going to keep putting it on there and checking. There's Margie. Hello. Hi, Margie. Hi, Granny D. Granny D. Hello, pumpkin. Right next to the emery board. I got to have one of those everywhere I go. What's those that? Those are so cute. Emery boards. Nail files. Yeah, I got a thing for them. All the time. Cute ideal. It's Breaking. just a last, last minute gift ideal. That's all I was looking for, really. But I did find some. Um... Since we brought that up, how cute is he? Oh my goodness. I love it. And looky here. Oh. <laughs> it's Teenage. Adorable. Yeah. So then I did the this is a little gift card, Santa. Look at Bell. that. Why are we making those? 
<laughs> I don't know. So here one is just Christmas looking. Oh, that's cute. And did you one, color that? Color change that? Yeah, I did. No, that's that was the yarn. And that's oh, cool. isn't that the Pokemon or Poke? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Pokeball. Yep. So, but I was like, oh my gosh. What if I made an uh 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 a gnome out of him. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's cute. Look at that. There you go. So a little fur up around his nose. So I made a little gnome. These are so cute. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. <laughs> I crocheted a lot this week. I'm really impressed with myself. And then Crystal I made said, gnome. And then I made him. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling on this side. And he got a sad face over here. <laughs> oh, the poor guy. <sighs> oh my goodness. Yeah. He's so Adorable. cute. Rita loves the gnome. Granny D loves the gnome and the card holders. He's so cute. Yeah, I, I have more. I don't know where they're at. You know, when you clean your desk off and you lose everything. Yes. Can't find you should, anything. <laughs> should not do that before a live. <laughs> well, I don't so think what? anybody wanted to see my desk the way it was. It was piled high. The armies are so cute. I love those card holders. Those are adorable. You they know what? You could get um instead of cards, if you didn't want to do a gift card, you could do um scratch off tickets too. Scr yeah. Well, we can't. Oh, you don't have them in Alabama? Alabama is like so backwards, it's like Come on, guys. They're stuck in the 1900s, huh? <laughs> Way before then, we're back at the caveman <laughs> thing. <laughs> Missy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Uh, we're going to think along the same line. Oh, Look at Adele. Sorry, Adele. I told you if you send it to me, I'm showing it. I don't ask. Here's Adele's. Aw. Card holder. <gasps> Look at the so gift cool. card. 50 bucks. Boy, she spent a lot of money. No, That's... it's probably a card she already used up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute, Adele. That is cute. I do like that one. Sneeze so loud you scared the dog. Who? Ivy, did you see the Christmas tree I sent you that I made? I sent you an email a few days ago. A Christmas tree. Not a bad idea for a gift. Hmm, right? No, ma'am. I did not see it. I Adele, will that is it. cute. It is adorable. <clears throat> Do you make your own pattern, Adele? Split my arm. No, Rita. I'll have to let me check my uh, spam folder later. I love yours, Ivy. My eyes and brain are running wild now. <laughs> running wild. I found that's not my pattern. None of them were my pattern. Those are the ones that I found on Pinterest. Well, you did good, Adele. Yeah, I like it. No, I saw a picture and tried to make it. I love the way your brain thinks. That's the way I do. If I see something. What's that song? I see it. I want it. I gotta have it. <laughs> see, that's what these people think today. I see it. I want it. I'm gonna take it. 
No, I didn't take it. I do it myself. I think it was a couple of weeks ago when you were going to do the gifts and elephant exchange. Yeah, I wanted to do that, but good Lord, I, my, I got mentally tired on trying to figure out how we could do it. But now I got a whole year to think about how to do it next year. <laughs> right? It can't be that hard. I know. But. How's everybody doing? A couple weeks ago. Now, Miss Rita, I did one time. I had over. Mm, don't shame me. Okay. Probably like 5,000 emails. Instead of looking at it one by one by one, I just select all, delete. And they were all, poof, gone, just like that. Imagine that. I don't go, I will. I'll go through the trash and see if I can find them. Because I don't think I deleted the trash can. Oh, my shattered nerve. Send it to me, Rita. Jeez. <laughs> I need to finish this. The Sunita's penguins. Oh, now, now she's doing a penguin. Okay. Good job, Adele. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Or you can send it to the Jen Ivy. She can get it from there. Yeah, Jen checks the mail all the time. I don't. All the time. Every few days I check the email. I never check my emails. <laughs> I just sent another picture. Oh, that's, I know how rude of me. Girl. <laughs> yes, please send another one. I won't delete it now because I only got like 147 emails that I haven't looked at now. You guys, I do not know. I have to do a video on this. I went to, see, I'm so, I'm so old, I'm still in AOL. If you click on AOL and it will tell you how many times a company sends, like if you subscribe to somebody or a company, how many emails they send to you? Do you realize that <clears throat> Lion Brand sends five emails a day? So rude. To your email. Five a day. That's stupid. Somebody, I don't know who, somebody sends seven a day and I thought well that's why my <laughs> email box is so full <laughs> mine is because I sign up for um, free patterns all the time oh get this free pattern but you have to sign up to our website oh well, of course I do I don't know Crystal you better you better speak louder than that put it in caps for her to understand it <laughs> I agree that it is, but I don't know if other uh, email people, I mean, things tell you how many times they send a, a letter. I'm going to do a video on that because it's AOL. I don't know anybody else that does it. I hate it when you look at something and you click it and you keep getting, oh, yes, I know. Or you're talking about something. And all of a sudden, it shows up in the next ad you see. Yep. That like, happens. What? Crystal says a small part of her isn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys, I learned now. I can do this. Watch this. With, I'm doing the pencil. I can do the pencil. I'm slow at it. Hey, that's my speed right there. Keep going. <laughs> I'm slow I at it. To you. <laughs> but I can do it. And it's looser. I think it's loose. Wow, you're going to be ambidextrous. No, I can't do it left-handed. But <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm one of those, got my fingers out like I'm drinking tea. <laughs> Right. 
but that's a way to slow down to do it. I can do it though. Somebody's lie. It's so hard to find a time when there is nobody live. Yeah. I am two away from 900 subscribers. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Yeah. But it's weird doing it this way and then going back and trying to do it. The knife grip. Yeah. I'm faster the other way. <laughs> yeah. But don't laugh at me. I barely gain an 11. Well, we can change that, Rita. We can blast you on the billboards. We can blast you on the community page. I'm just taking my sweet time. I don't really care if I, I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to get the 4,000 hours or 3,000. I don't think I'm ever going to get there. I shared this life out, life, this live out on my community tab. I don't know that anybody's even seen it. I'm but sure. Which on my community page. <laughs> I'm all thumbs when it comes to pencil grip. Olivia can do both without blinking. Oh, really? Did you teach her to do the uh, pencil or did she just uh, watch a video and. No, I meant to say chain 11. Yes, chain 11 first. Oh, I meant to say chain 11. <laughs> OK. Okay, we're at 902. We got to pick this up. We got to get going, guys. Make sure you get it done. Move it, move it, move it. Who sings that song? Move it, move it, move it. <laughs> What's that? In, uh, um, oh, what is that zebra movie? Rawhide. Move it, move it, move it. That's Rawhide. the one I was thinking of. The Madagascar one. Disney. Oh, got to be Disney. Jen is a Disney girl, I swear. Today is Olivia's five-year anniversary for learning to... Oh, I taught her oh. not to hold. She picked up pencil from watching Jeannie. Oh, <laughs> five oh, years. That's what called, right? <laughs> I like to... That's so sweet it. she's doing. What's that? That's sweet that Olivia's doing it, that she she likes to crochet. I saw, what was it the other day? She, mm, can't remember what she was doing the other day. It's sweet till Michelle can't sit on her couch. <laughs> it's so full of her, her whips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of, you guys. Repeat Me Crafter has a year-long um, uh, project. You do one gnome square a month. I fell in love with it. And I have not bought yarn in a while. And guess what I did? You did not. I did. I did. I went and bought every color because, listen, Joanne had it on sale for $7.19. But you guys, if you get military discount, you get an additional 25% off. So he ended up paying $6.09 for it. The big twists the big the big in what's it called dreamy the, knows what the blanket yarn or whatever the uh 
Hello, Pam. Good night, Tammy. Good night, Tammy. Good night, Cindy. Thanks for coming. The big twist. The big ball. The big ball. Got it for six dollars and nine cents. Wow. So I bought every color, of course. What is it? It's the big twist big ball. Well, that's what it's called. The value. value. Yeah. Value something. Value Ooh, pound that. plus. 1093 yards. Wow. So I'm going to be doing the um, repeat me crapper. I got some of that ivy. Yeah. Well, I think you're the one that talked me into it. You probably didn't, but you showed it and it was like, oh, I'm a pound of uh, love girl. But this has got 70 more yards than Pound of Love. Ronnell said she's on February. Are you? Okay, so I know you're got you're doing it. I thought about doing December now since we're in December. So if anybody wants to join me in doing that. I got some of that Ivy, Sandrine said. Yeah. She showed it, and I think that's what I went looking for it, and it was seven ninety nine, but we got it for six oh nine. Wow, that is a good good deal. Yeah, if you get a military when it's on sale, you can turn around and use your military at um, Joanne's on top of the sale. So, yeah, they're knowing me. Yeah, I think it's going to be cute. Ain't too many things I fall in love with when I do. I say, I got to do it. So I bought all the yarn that, to make them. You said that's repeat crafter me, right? Yeah, repeat crafter me. And she's doing that for 2024 or what? It was 2022, 20, I think it was. Oh, it's, not, it's already over. See, the, when she had done it, it was you had to wait till next month to do the pattern. So now all of, all 12 of them are out, and all you got to do is click on it, and it just tells you. Um, she even gives you repeat crafter me. Um, she even tells you uh, it's corner. Is it corner to corner? I think it's corner to corner, and it tells you like two whites. Two whites, one blue. That gives you all the instructions to it. Real easy. Dawn and it's is 20 here. inches by 20 inches, I think. So it's That's not, not real big. big. No. But there's 12 of them. And you can make it a girl, a girl blanket or like pigtails. It's pigtails or long beard. It, it's really cute. <clears throat> Hello, she Dawn. does have a lot of nice patterns. Mm -hmm. And tutorials. I should say tutorials. Don Yarn Doll is here. Yes, I said hello. Oh, sorry. Hello. hello. The only... Her feet fit on them. Yeah, the... The um, the only Ivy's C to C that she gives the choice of girl or boy noms. Not sure what you mean. She said something about it being a calendar. Are you talking about her C to C gnome calendar blanket? Mm, yeah, 12 of them. And you can make it the girl one or uh, I mean, is a gnome is a gnome. I mean, if it's a girl, is it still a gnome? 
<laughs> if you're a girl or a boy, are you still human? <laughs> no, I'm just saying you're a gnome is, you know, the long beard in the front with a big nose. But if you got pigtails, are you still a gnome? Have you not watched Gnomeo and Juliet? No. <laughs> of course you haven't. No, I haven't. It's a kid's movie. I was, I was probably crocheting, okay? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you're so good at it. Why would you do anything else? <laughs> Excuse me. You're choking me up now. Stop. <laughs> I love that question, though. See? What? Crystal, Crystal understood it. Understood what? <laughs> she said, I love that question, though. What question? His <laughs> gnome is with his beard and a big nose. So if you have ponytails, are you, or pigtails, I mean. <laughs> Just saying. If, if, it's, if it's a girl, is it a gnome? It's a gnome. <laughs> oh, my God. You do realize we are live, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I need to shut up. <laughs> well, I thought a gnome was just a guy. I didn't know a gnome could be a girl. Well, how did they, how did there get to be more gnomies if there's only homies? <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Ask Google. <laughs> oh boy. Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> I got just to, up. Just to clarify, Crystal says <laughs> it is still a no. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's move on, okay? <laughs> and they are married. Look, see? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> How long is this supposed to be <sighs> compared to my tablet? <laughs> well, uh, you, have to, uh, you have to fold it up. You're going to fold it? Okay, looky here. So show her. If show you her. had, uh, let me find something that's about that so you can understand. How about my phone? Where's my phone? So let's just say your notebook is this this wide, but it's only this tall. So you would only crochet enough to where your pencil or ink pen or whatever you're going to put in there is showing. So you can have it this you can have it this long, but you're gonna you're gonna continue the single crochet rows up, and you're gonna come up to about right there. You're gonna leave enough just to show what's in it. Jivey house. <laughs> hey, Jeannie. Ivy, I thought the same thing. Okay, Rita thought the same thing. Okay. <laughs> the jivey house. That's what Sunita always calls us. Mm -hmm. Jivey house. Kind of takes out one of the syllables there. The N and the I. <laughs> Just the N. Well, the E N, but that's just one sound, though. Hey, Miss Lydia. How are you tonight? Hi, Lydia. Where's Felicia? Hey, Felicia. Welcome Hi, in. Good to see you. 
Girl, I got to ask you about that. What, whatever that drink you had. What was it? Neck, uh, neck broth or bone broth and an egg. What? Explain, explain, please. Was that a raw egg that you? Mm -mm. How are you feeling tonight, Jeannie? Jeannie, are you in your second week or third week of working now? You know, um, does anybody crochet with their elbows up on the table or a pillow? <clears throat> no, I feel awkward like that. I, it's weird. Yeah, I'm crocheting slow right now because I'm like this. I'm usually like in, you know, up around my waist. Uh-huh. I feel like I'm crocheting slow. Flexoril and oh, tramadol is, uh, doesn't help me at all. Sometimes Pam says, hello, Pam. When, um. Yeah. When Hobie Bingo does shows those um, ho boppy pillow things, I'm thinking, how could people do that? <laughs> Put your arms up like that. You know? <laughs> no, I down, bring them down, bring them down. <laughs> She's going to sing to us. <laughs> right now. Break, break dancing. Up. You never know. She'll jump up out of that chair and start break dancing. <laughs> You not break something, not just the dance. <laughs> okay, is anybody getting close to 12 inches or 14 inches? I'm better, but my back is still hurting. What the? Aw. Can't you just relax now that we know what to do, Ivy? I'm sure you guys got this figured out. It's simple. Did you see Felicia? She answered you about the bone broth. Nope. Okay. It says, yes, bone broth. I added egg into it like egg drop soup. Nope. The egg was cooked. Just stir it in while heating in the pot. It's a nice warm breakfast in a cup. Hi, Maritza. I did not see you do that. I thought it was a raw egg in there. It's like, there is no way that I could eat that or drink it. No way. Ooh. The heart collector shawl. Yeah. I've seen that, Dawn. Very pretty. Hi, Missy. I would have to see that, Pam. My big toe helps me crochet it. Moves with each stitch. <laughs> That's a million view hit right there. <laughs> you need to do a short on that. Hey, Missy. She needs pillows to crochet. And I'm like, no, it hurt my shoulders. I need elbows down. Yes. Felicia is asking, what are we making? Here we go. You're making a last minute gift ideal for somebody that likes to write things down or doodles, you know, put a pencil in there. If you do crochet patterns, stick a crochet hook in there. It just wraps around a little journal book. You probably spent a grand total of $4, but shh, they'll never know that. That's what we're doing.
My laptop died while I was cooking. Oh man, that stinks. You should have been crocheting, Crystal. Twenty-three seventy. Wow, that is a lot of hats, girlfriend. Congratulations. Now, did you do all them or uh, people gave them, sent them to you? Everybody helped out. Wow. Even so, 2376. Ooh, ooh. And I thought I had a lot of hats over here. I could have donated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got you some hats. That is for sure. You did all them? Oh my goodness. That's your heart. That is awesome. That's it. I bet you got to work through your stash on them. Got to move my parts like Granny D says. Be right back. Okay. We're not going yeah. anywhere for another. We need to hurry up. Who's, who's even close to 12 to 14 inches? I'm just over seven somewhere. I'm going to pull back. I'm going to sit back here. <laughs> I could crochet faster. <laughs> My arm is starting to hurt up there. That is a blessing. Oh, Jeanette made all of them. Oh, man. I know. <clears throat> This year, was that in one year you made that many? You crocheted all of them? Renell's at nine inches. Ooh, nice. Kim G has got her, she's got 13 inches done. She's almost. Get her done. Woo. Drini is saying, hi, bestie. Lydia is saying, hello, Jeannie. Drini says, I'm almost done. Now, you can change colors for the border if you want or if you want to make it the same. And, you know, the, was it Hobby Lobby? I seen online, they had little, um, like a snowflake, uh, not a sticker, but little, little thingies. Hello, Davida. Sure, thingies. You know, hey, we, Davida. you would glue them on there probably with hot glue, but you could decorate the front of it if you wanted to. For like somebody, if they was into football and wanted to write things down. I mean, like with a button or something. Yeah. What are those little oh, packages you get? I'm not. They're not necessarily buttons, but little decorations of Halloween, uh, Christmas. Uh, you could you could use those things that they put on um, Crocs shoes. Those. Yeah. I don't know what they're called. I can't wear Crocs. Ugh. Me either. Can't stand them. I don't like anything in between my toes, like sandals. I don't wear sandals that go between the toes, like flip flops. I don't do. I don't do flip flops very well. 
Isn't that strange? Being in the South, you would think flip-flops is always on our feet. But no, not me. And that's so good for your... Hi, Tansy. Welcome in. It's nice to see you tonight. Hello. Right now I'm doing slippers for the nursing home. I, I like the slippers now. I could do them. Okay, you're at 14. Do you have the same journal book like this, Kim G? So if I was at 14. Night all, I'm working woman now. Aw, good night, sweet pea, sweet dreams. Good night, Sunita. So you're going to go ahead and, and tie... Tie off. Well, end it. End it. Not, no, not actually. You don't have to. You're going to go all the way down here and make a single crochet. And you line these up. Now make sure that you got enough where your pencil or whatever you're putting in there. So if you've got... Um, 14 inches it'll probably be down about right here so that would be enough because all you're going to do is leave it just like this it's going to stay long you're going to fold it halfway or three quarters up and stitch along the side going through both and go all the way around tablet is nine inches um so what i would do nine inches So you probably need to do a couple more inches. I will catch the replay. I got to go to bed. 5.30 a.m. comes. Yes, it does. Good night, hon. Sweet dreams. You're probably going to have to do a couple more inches. Feel better? If you're putting ink pens in there or pencils or something like that, you're probably going to have to do more. I would say another two so one there and one there probably another two inches you probably want to do 16. Everybody's so quiet. I'm going to see something here. Everybody's saying goodnight, Jean. I wonder if I had a little mini ink pen. You know, at uh, Halloween, they had those little tiny ink pens. What are you talking about? I was going to try to probably jump ahead. We only got like 30 minutes to get with all of this. Oh, gotcha. So if I was using this, that's a little, so that would probably be about right up to there. So if you had a pencil or something. So what you're saying need... is you need a, a miniature golf tee um, pencil. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have these fancy ones in there on a small one because it'd be way too big. It would fit in that. Around, put it on your wrist carry them <laughs> yeah <laughs> now it would go in the um other one but you know it won't stay folded because it's it's bumpy there so you wouldn't want to you would want flat ones in here but i wish i could have i might do a video on this 
the single crochet there. Yeah. It's a pretty stitch. I like that. I think, you know what, if you was doing like a, a cardigan or a sweater or something, that'd be, it's, I mean, it's only a single crochet, but it's pretty thick. Yeah. It looks bumpy. Texture would be the word. Or a washcloth could do it. Hey, Crystal, washcloth. You do. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me, didn't you, Crystal? I heard her say your name loud. And <laughs> hello, Cricket again. She said, What? <laughs> we know how Crystal likes them washcloths. She is she, uh, she can ask you politely to do a tutorial for her. <laughs> I heard me name. <laughs> Kim G says, won't, won't that make it too deep for hooks and pens? Okay, is your nine inches this way or this way? All it is is you're going to bring this down a little bit more. That's why I did one one inch here and then one inch up there. So this would be one inch up more. Yeah, you're right. It may be too deep. So go ahead and do two more inches for this then. Leave this the way it is. Because I think that is only like four and a half. I ain't for sure. Let me see. No, it's five and five inches. This is five inches here. From this lip down here is five inches. And this is seven and a half. So that's twelve and a half inches. And she's got 14 already. Yeah. So hers may. I ain't even going to try to put it up there. Sing and deck the hall. <laughs> How wide was it? Mm, two and a little bit, about two and an eighth, is it? Just over two inches. It's just yeah. enough to put two, just enough to put two items. Mine's about two inches. Yours is about two inches? Yeah, and once you put the border, ouch, pull my hair. Yeah, once, once you put, you put the border, the border on. Thicker. And it's just a simple single crochet around. You can make it more decorative if you wanted to. I just did a simple one. You could do a shell stitch around it. Jen, we're going to have to work on doing what you wanted to do. Um, table. Yeah, that'd be. I think that'd be pretty. Just a, a different stitch on top. Well, you would only be able to do this much, though. Yeah, that's okay. Just that much, and then do the rest of it in the single crochet. Yeah. yeah. Like the whole back can be single crochet. Right. <clears throat> Thought it would look real pretty with a cable going right down the middle, like a stripe. Yeah. Kim G, I'm going to have to send a picture of my cat. Your cat and my cat looks identical. I wonder if they're related. Oh. <laughs> Is a gnome a gnome if it's a girl? Jen. <laughs> you need to stop it. <laughs> well, yeah, no. Cat, I was not necessarily related, <laughs> but then cats, cats, you never know about cats. Well, they look identical. That's funny.
think I'm allergic to dust. My eyes have been itchy since I cleaned yesterday, but I refuse to get tested. Don't be a crybaby, Zach. Just do it. That's what I tell my husband. He's <laughs> so many things. Just go do it. Okay. Where they um prick him like 72 times and they do it back here on the back of your arm. You know, where it's tender. What is that for? I don't write Zach. Um, allergies. They test I you thought, back here. I thought it was a, like a little gun that had like 20, 25 needles in it. And they, you're black and white cat, Kim. Like it had 25, you know, like a booster shot. Uh, oh, and my doctor did tell me yesterday. She said, have you had your flu shot this year? And I told her no, that I probably will not get a flu shot because the last one I had, I got really, really sick and my arms swelled up and turned red big time. Yeah. And I've she, never had a flu shot. It is best for you to go get one because of the there is a new strain that's out already. And it's better to have, go ahead and get sick. Pick a day, pick a week that you want to be sick for all week. <laughs> right. So Let that, me die. <laughs> so that you will build up your antibodies. So when, if, when, if you catch it, you won't get it as bad. And I said, it sounded like the, uh, the C thing. She said, it ain't that. So there's like over a hundred different forms of the flu and you never hear that they got the right one in the shots they're giving you. Okay. Well, I asked her that and she said, yes, it is a live virus that they stick in you. And all it is for is for you to build up your, you are to get sick. You're going to get sick, <clears throat> but it's not a deathly ill sick. Now they're going to tell you that you will get sick from it. You or will get sick or, from it. And, but you're going to build up your antibodies in your system. So if you get it, this new strain is horrible. She said that, you know, if anybody's got like autoimmune system deficiencies and down stuff like that, that you probably should go ahead and get the flu shot. So if, when you get the flu, the strain that's going around, it will not be as bad as what it could be. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go get the shot because like my husband said, you, I, I don't even go out of the house. Vitamin D, vitamin C and zinc. I already take zinc and I take all that. My husband, but I don't, that he probably wouldn't make it. I don't even go out of the house unless I have to. I mean, that's going to the doctor, not right. getting a flu shot. Well, that last one made my uh, arm swell up and turn bright red. Oh, yeah. And I was in bed for four days. Nasty. I'm almost there. Well up. I remember that. Yeah. And that was the same time I got the um, one arm got the flu shot. And the other one got the shingle shot. No thanks on the flu shot. Last time I had one, I was sick for six months. Oh. Ooh. I shouldn't complain then. I was only four days. <laughs> hey. I don't know. All I wanted to do was sleep. That is all I wanted to do. Christmas music going on in my head. <laughs> That's not Christmas music, hon. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> That's, uh, That's not Christmas music. 
people collect checks for that, you know. <laughs> hey, now. You behave. <laughs> Look at Crystal. She's smiling. <laughs> yeah. I think I lost the bitch. You lost <clears> what? Done 15 total. Nine for the back, almost six for the front. Okay, well then you're you're probably in that. You can start doing your single crochet around. Just line it up to make it easy. You know, there's a front side and the back side on a, a single crochet. So line them up to where, you know, these little ridges, line them ridges up to where it's even all the way down like that. You can do your single crochet in every row down and I even went across here I picked up I went through I went through both like that hmm. true story I got the flu shot when I was 28 I got double pneumonia I've been on oxygen for 30 years already on the bright side I've never had, never have had a cold, flu, etc. Wow. Wow. Did do you have to go on oxygen because of the flu shot? Or double pneumonia, I mean? Well, even that's not something you want to play with, double pneumonia, even pneumonia. Mm -hmm. My husband gets walking pneumonia. I've had that one time. But never had a cold. Well, I don't know if I want to trade that off. <laughs> Been on oxygen for 30 years. I had a uh, scarlet fever when we were little. Scarletine, scarlet, scarlet fever. Wow. I remember all I wanted was ice cream. When you had a fever, you wanted ice cream? When I had scarlet fever. Mm -hmm. all, I, all I remember, because you run a real high fever with that. All I ever wanted was ice cream in the middle of winter. It was ice cream. I didn't eat it. I just wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Because I think my mouth was hot. I hate ice cream. I literally hate ice cream. What? I think your mouth is so hot that all I wanted was the coldness of it to be in my mouth to keep it cool. Because it was so I never ate it. Well, then you're a child. You don't make no sense. Huh? I said you're, you were a child. You didn't make no sense. I know it. Ice would be better. Yeah, but it would melt. <laughs> so what ice cream? It was in the bowl and the bowl was cold. So you put the spoon down in there and it would get cold and then you put the spoon in your mouth and it would cool your mouth off. I didn't want the ice cream. <coughs> I had scarlet fever when I was a kid. I don't remember though. I was too little. It ended up giving me heart murmur. Uh, yeah. We were snowed in and the doctor, we were quarantined. Well, out in, in the little town that we lived in was <clears throat> a population of 60 people, but the whole town was quarantined. So the doctor came out there. We're like 36 miles from uh, the big town, Mount Vernon. So the doctor came to see us and he couldn't get up our driveway because it was snowed in and everything. But uh, a neighbor came down and, used his uh tractor 
and made a little path for him to get up to in the house. And he would come in and check everybody's fever and ask what we wanted. Uh, if we needed like popsicles or something like that, he had popsicles. Wow. We couldn't go shopping. Mom and dad couldn't go shopping or anything. So you had a long driveway, didn't you? Yep. Jill said, I used to work my oxygen. I used to work with my oxygen. It was a little house taking the tanks, but can't let that get in your way. Yeah, that's true. I want to say that was like in 74-ish, somewhere in there. It was good. He was that kind of doctor, though. Yeah. You know, that's back whenever doctors did make house calls. <laughs> you don't see that nowadays. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. Too many people go to them for not having to go. I only got a couple more rows to do. We're not going to get it done, guys. Unless I tell you right now how to do it. Just what well, I think I have told you guys several times. So just line it up. The, the ridges on one side, the ridges on this. Just line it up and go single crochet all the way down, across, and up. Come up here. Go all the way across. Tie it off. Hi, Shonda. In the early 70s, yeah. I think there was a, uh, um, I wouldn't call it a pandemic, okay? I wouldn't call it that. Oh, like but, that. But there was a lot of people that had it. How many rows you got? Inches, I mean. About 13. Kylie, you're good. Then how you do the back strap. Okay. So just do uh, three across here. Alternate. Just do three stitches. Go back and forth, back and forth, three stitches. Chain one, three single crochets. Go all the way down. So let's say I started here. I did my chain all the way up here. And on the very last one, slip stitch into three across here. When you have you can, to do, hmm? when you have to do four. Because my OCD is getting the better of me. What? You can do four. I just did three. Three was a good number at the time. Yes, there's ten stitches across there. But you can make it into three there. My OCD would get the better of me for sure. Why? Because of three and ten? Yes, it doesn't equal. <laughs> okay, do four then. You could do three, four. I did three. Or did I do four? Hang on. I did three. One, two, three. And that's a chain. Yeah, just do three. Because it really ain't going to make it. Doesn't, it doesn't make it move anything. That looks good. So this is five from here to here and another two for the flap up here. There you go. Is that what it's supposed to be? If that's the book that you have. Wow. 
No, I have a notebook. But, but you, can make, to... you can make the chain, this, back here, longer to make it fit the book. Right. You you really need the five inches for the front for your pins. The packet. You, you could probably, I mean, there's where mine is right there. So for them just to sit there, in there. It could go down about five. There's there's all the way down. So that's what mine looks like all the way pushed in. So I got that much. So you could I just wanted mine up. So you can make this longer for any book that you wanted. Right. So do twelve inches and then do this as long as you want. Gotcha. Oh, you use the sparkle yarn. Yeah, I use the sparkle yarn. My doctor comes to my house. I'm on oxygen. Well, that's, yeah. I mean, I kind of like the tele, uh, tele, uh, uh, teleconference doctor. I mean, my GI doctor she knows that, you know, when you have Crohn's disease, your immune system is always down. And so she doesn't like for me to get out, even though she tells me to, but, you know, take a chance, but I'll get sick. So I stay home all the time and let my husband do all the shopping and stuff. And she'll do a teleconference because... You know, everybody's sick. I don't want to go around anybody that's sick. Right. No, I'm April. I'm an Aries. Adele. Just OCD about some things. Not everything. Did you, <clears throat> did you get that Kim G understand what I was saying to do? I don't know how many rows I actually did on that do you guys like this kind of a live where we're working on something and Jen that yarn that you was asking about that is the the Christmas yarn yeah that I had bought about five six years ago maybe longer than that but that was that that is cute. It looks good. Now, I think I, this was the Christmas yarn there. I did five rows of that, and then I put the five rows of white. This does not belong with that. Okay, that's what I was asking. Yeah, I added it because it was too busy. I didn't like the busyness of it. I do like that. Why don't we make those next week? Okay. Next week? Next week is Christmas, ain't it? No. Uh -uh. Last minute. I mean, these are, I mean, these are on the uh, Pinterest. and I mean, I ain't teaching anybody that y'all don't know how to do. Oh, no, Adele, it's not a Virgo thing. Not just a Virgo thing. She understands it perfectly. Kim G. Okay. Yes. Goody. Goody, goody. Oh, and you yeah. guys, I found my old, 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 old. When I first started crocheting, um, like wearables and stuff like that, all of my books, I thought I lost them over the years. I found them. I was like, yes, I remember this one. I remember this. I remember this. I remember that. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I practically made everything in all the books. Oh. You scared me. We have 13 days till the Christmas. I know. I'm not looking forward to Christmas. I never do. I just give gift cards. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Get out. Yeah. Y'all shoot your eye out. <laughs> oh, and who I need I need addresses for people too. 
was going to ask you about that. Yes, I got to get these out. So if you guys made the uh, Jen's light, I know I'm a Grinch. I am a Grinch. <laughs> I am. I know it. I need a break from sitting too long. Need to go uh, do that. <laughs> I am awful. I know it. I don't like to shop. I hate shopping. And you know, and I got these grandkids that's in their teenage years. They don't know what dollar stuff is anymore. <laughs> no. No. Ask them for a Christmas list. Guess what the first thing it's on a Christmas list times six i can't do six times i can't a computer a laptop are you guys kidding me right i can't no sorry if i only had one grandchild oh i'd probably spend all the money in the world on them but i got seven of them <laughs> and the christmas list looks the same on all seven of them <laughs> yeah. Oh, from so how, do, how do you give a teenager money and not a gift to unwrap? They don't care about a gift. They want that gift card. You think? Who was I talking to the other day that said they was putting in um, gift cards to the eating places like McDonald's and Burger King and Taco Bell and that's good for college students. Yeah. Yes, they do, Rita. They want, I mean, the very first thing times six things, six list. Show me you guys' this list. Laptop. All six of them. Laptop, laptop, laptop. Well, you know how much them laptops cost right now? I can't do it times six. I can't do it. And you know you can't do for one that you don't do for the others. You just can't do that. So, yeah, I'm a Grinch. You get a gift card. That's it. Leave me alone. <laughs> get a piece of cake and get out of here. <laughs> right. Oh, Christmas cookie. Oh, no. They get the bag of cookies that you make yourself. I ain't making them for you. <laughs> Oh my God, Adele, 29 step grandkids and 10 step kids. Uh, Rita will buy anything to Grinch. So now you got to come up with green yarn to make one of those gift card holders for Rita. My neck still hurts from yesterday's headache. Eee. I love the Grinch also. I have to go out to 5 a.m. and get the new rescue. Crystal wants um, the lobster. Well, I bet you would want Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you say your local, uh, uh, well, I don't even know. That'd probably be expensive, too. Your grocery store? <laughs> I have 15. Yes, they're in the money. That's why I said a gift card. Let them buy what they want. I mean, I'm not going to strain my brain to try to figure out what I can... Um, you know, they're in the age. Well, I know that Nana spent $100 on you, but only spent 50 on me. You know, I, I don't want to get into that. No. Good night, Cam. Thanks for coming and making this with us. Send us a picture. Gen Ivy, what is it? Gen Ivy 2022 at Gmail. Mm -hmm. 15 grandchildren. That's a lot of grand. I don't. Mm. They're into money. For the bigger kids and crochet for the smaller ones. Yeah, you'd probably get by with making a little. I'm a grooming. I have no grandkids either. Rita. Trying. Hello, Miss. Six, yep. of, six of my seven grandkids are born in October. Wow. Oh, that stinks. December? Yeah. That is crazy.
who's all still with us? And we could have had this done if we wasn't jacking our jaw. Hey, that's fun. <laughs> I know. We only do it once a week. Thank God. <laughs> oh, jeez. Love you too. <laughs> they get no. I mean, they get tired of seeing me. That's for sure. I mean, you're so beautiful. They'd love to see you. Stop. It's a hat. It's a hat. It's a hat. Oh, it, the red hat lady. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Jeanette says she's still here. Dang Crystal, the baby of grandbabies, was born on Christmas Day. Oh, that poor thing gets spoiled. Not spoiled because they get left out. It's your birthday and it's Christmas. Here's a gift <laughs> for both. Yeah, I feel bad for those kids. I really do. That's like mine. Mine's around um, Valentine's Day. So my gift gets put together, too. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm going to go lay down through and keep you. Okay. Thank you, Kay. Good night. Thanks for coming. Every time I see Kay's name, I think of Kay's jewelers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or not Christmas Day. All oh, that stinks. I would have loved to have been the New Year's baby. I wasn't, though, but. I would have loved to have been that. Because I think um, long time ago, our hospital didn't do that. I don't think the first baby born in the year gets all yeah, this. Yeah, they say oil. Yep, you get all kinds of stuff. In Toledo, I think they did it. I know Mount Vernon, they did. I don't know. I think around here, I think last year, one of the years. You know, when I say last year, it could have been ten years ago. I don't know. One year they had like six babies born simultaneously, minute after minute after minute on New Year's. Wow. But there's only one born first, you know. Yes. But there was like six of them that was born like six or twelve o'clock, twelve oh one, twelve oh two, twelve oh three. Wow. When I had my last um Get Christmas and birthday. Had them on a Thursday. Thursday morning. And I was home by 6 o'clock Friday night. I said, look, it, this is my thirst. My thirst. This is my third kid. I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> Cut them and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were so busy. Like, waiting room. For people, you know, in labor. I'm like, I'll go. I'll go. Get me out. And they said, well, I guess if this is your third, I guess you know what you're doing. I said, good enough. Bunch of thin be as bad as the other two I had. <laughs> oh, that's a neat idea. Trinket gifts. Dehydrate and find something to stab. <laughs> oh, to eat. <laughs> I had uh, my youngest on Thanksgiving Day. Right, Jeanette. And I was running a fever because I literally thought that I could have a baby and go home the same day. Wow. Well, they was, like you said, they were so busy with Thanksgiving and everything. I kept telling them, I want to go home. I want to go home. I don't want to be here at Thanksgiving. And the doctor came in and said, well, you're running a fever. We can't let you go. I said, oh, well, I'll break that fever. <laughs> I said, if my fever breaks, can you let me go home? And he said, if that fever breaks in the next hour, I'll let you go home. I said, come back and check me. Okay. I, my father-in-law was standing there and I said, go get me some ice. <laughs> I, I chowed down on ice as much as I could when he came in and took to me, he said, yeah, you can go home. Oh, oh I my. paid for it dearly. I paid for it dearly. Yeah. All I wanted to do was go home and sleep then. 
Yeah. I'm sure. And then babies, they every two hours. Like, shut up. I want to sleep. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. What's that? Fibroids. Mm. Oh, yeah. Christmas gifts for vets. Is that something they would do? Gift cards? Yeah, you could do. Yeah, well, hmm. I don't say you could do them. You could put somebody loves you with the <laughs> wait. <laughs> put pigtails around him. <laughs> oh, wait, for a girl? Yeah, I'll put pigtails around him. <laughs> See, this is what I thought I when I saw it. I thought all of that. He that's like a big nose. Uh-huh. Right there. Yep. If that wasn't a nose up there, but it could have been. Right. That's <laughs> what right. I <laughs> Let's crochet stuff. I, I'm trying, my brain is trying to think what you could crochet for a little trinket. I think I'm getting close, guys. See, I could finish mine right now, right there. If I just, you know, leave it up here where I wanted to see what I had in there. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what I've done with everything now. Oh, it's in the other one. Well, I could pull that over a little bit. I could put a button there and button it closed. Yeah. That's the other one. I think I did um, 15 inches on that one, but like again, like I said again, it's, it depends on your little notebook. So that's 6, 12, and 4. That was 16. 16. Got about 14 of mine. But it's going to stretch too. You got to remember that. It will stretch. I don't think it's going to stretch that much because you're doing this border. You're, you're single crocheting around that. So you're pulling it together. The only thing that might stretch would be this because I did not do the single crochet down the sides of that. But yeah. if you if you did do a single crochet, I doubt that it would stretch. For my niece, because she's a bookworm. That'd be great. That is cool. Kind of reminds me, remind you of a pocket protector for nerds, you know. <laughs> you know yeah. how I like nerds. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you do. All we need, if we could figure out how to put a little clip on it, it'd be the new version of the pocket nerds. <laughs> wow. Hey, that's what we can call it, a pocket nerd. For, for ladies. <laughs> mm, sorry. I did buy a bunch of these pins, but I don't know what happened to them. I know my husband didn't take them. They were, they were at the Dollar Tree, and they had the blue, the purple, the pink, iridescent ones. They're a little mermaid. Scale. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, a pocket nerd. <laughs> Cross. 
crochet decal. What about making little candy canes? Like a... <clears throat> I just thought of um, something for Missy. Oh, I lost it. Like, well, I was thinking a candy cane. Um, it's like hot a, hands, Missy. Like a, you know, get them a candy cane, crochet a, a, a thing around it and wrap it around the candy cane. Put a little smiley face on it. You have crochet candy canes, don't you? Huh? You have crocheted candy canes, right? Yeah. I was thinking of a real candy cane. Oh. Crochet around a, uh, um, what are these things called? Can not see what you're, oh, pipe cleaner. A pipe cleaner. Or Chanel Cro stem. Yeah, crochet around a pipe cleaner, cleaner and put two eyeballs on it on a candy cane. Yes, I did a tutorial on candy canes. Yeah. Who did? Missy said she did. Bonnie, hello. Like you could make a little, like a little worm around the candy cane, the real candy cane. Put a little, two eyeballs on it. I want a candy cane tutorial. I did. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Crosses, coasters, jewelry. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah, you could put. Where's the little ball? I had a little eyeball up there because I put eyeballs on. You can make them reindeer too around the candy cane. Or a little koozie. Make them. Well, I don't know if they got little things. The Teenage Mutant Ninja. I think these are so cute. No, you didn't, Crystal. Those are adorable. I love those. This one. I need to make those. This is all the yarn that I got from that lady. What lady? The one that decides she quit crocheting. Oh. She calls me up and says, do you want this yarn? I went over with a hundred dollar bill and came back with like 90 skeins of yarn. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Sandrine, it got, it got vacuum packed. It went in a bag. <laughs> yeah, and it was all yes. that. I love this uh, pound of love. How do you like my little gnome, guys? He's cute. I like him. Bookmarker. Well, Missy, you could use the little thin yarn, but it's gonna you're gonna take a longer time to make them. Oh, here's the other one. There's there's a black one. I do not know why I put black in there. Have no idea. Don't ask me. An elf's belt. Here's what that yarn looks like. Without that white in there. Uh-huh. It's got a nice little pooling. Yeah, it does. But it's too busy. I didn't like it. Gotcha. I got, got a bag, bag full of thin yarn. So trying to figure ways to use it. Well... Gosh, it's hard to say thin yarn, what to use it for. Thin yarn, I can only think of thin yarn garments, wearables, <laughs> uh, doilies. Yeah. Bookmarkers. Bookmarkers, bracelets. I like to, okay, is it yarn or is it thread? I made me a little Santa belt bracelet. Look at that. 
That is so cute. Is that not cute? That is. Yep, that's what I made, Crystal. A Santa belt bracelet. Love it, Ivy. I made one last year. But not as a bookmark. Good idea. Oh. Puppy dogs are cute. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Also do a giveaway with some of it. Yes, you guys go um, visit Missy's channel. Check her out. <clears throat> I listen to Missy all the time. Especially when it comes to her stalker. Yes, Ivy makes jewelry too. Okay, I think I'm going to stop at mine right there. Love it, Ivy. I made one last year, but not as a bookmark. Good idea. I think that's a... Rita loves your bracelet. Thank you. Star not thread. Any one of my pins would fit in there, so... Hi, Angela. Got metallic right. knit crocheting yarn. Oh, I love knit crochet. Who's got that? Missy. Oh, Missy. Uh, uh, uh. That is, uh, I have, uh, I got two, I believe, of knit crocheting. I love that stuff. So you're going to put a single crochet in every stitch down. I don't think I actually did. It's not really important to do it. It's just put some single crochets in it. Because I think it bunched up um, when I did it in every stitch. Are you doing yours all in one color? Yeah. I guess I could have switched colors, but hello, Lori. <clears throat> I ain't seen you in a while. Hello, Lori. Thrift haul today. Great idea. Could not pass it up. Right. I feel like I'm sitting in the dark too. She's she's wanting to make things for veterans. Hold See, multiple when I went hands of the thin yarn together until it gets to a thickness you like to use for trinkets. Might do another pull of the yarn out. It was good, good size bag. I've seen it. I'll check it after this. Right, this color all alone or with this green? I should. Is that green? It's, darker. Look it's not that dark. It's a bluish. That green would look good with it. Pagoda? What is pagoda? A pagoda? <laughs> Oh, pagoda. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yes, this or no this? I think it'd look good together. So that's why I was saying if you put them together, they, I'm not lined up. They're, This is I like a mustard color. It's gold. That's what they call it, gold. I'm telling you, I, I used not like the mustard color, but it seemed like this last year that those colors have draw, uh, grown on me. What is it? The yellow or gold or 
Shoot, mm -hmm. even blue. Even blue has grown on me. Don't you have my blue now? Oh, things in, in patriotic colors? Yes, Lori. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I know my lighting's bad. Yeah, when I got down here to the end, like I said, I went through. You got, you've got a line there. Just go through that and just go all the way through the back. Just make a single crochet in each one across. Where did you start doing it? Do you cut your yarn and then pick it up where they meet, or did you go down no, the whole too? I carried on and went all the way around. And, you know, also, if you're sitting here for you know, us crocheters, this is a good thing to hang your um, stitch markers on, too. Sure. You have extra stitch markers you want to put with it? Yeah. If you want to give it as a last-minute gift for somebody that crochets, put some stitch markers on it. I had a hysterectomy three weeks ago today. I've been oh. lurking frequently over the last months and for the three months before that. I was really busy at work and not catching you as much. Yeah, I used to see you on there all the time. I know you visit, um, 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 oh, gee, Saturday. Little John's. Always see you in there. Oh, prayers for healing. Yeah. You make sure you do what the doctor tells you to do on the hysterectomy. Don't be lifting up no more than a frying pan. I think that's what my doctor told me. No, you can't lift anything heavier than a frying pan. I think they told me a gallon of milk. No vacuuming for, what was it? Almost two months. I wasn't allowed to vacuum for two months. Look, that dust will still be there tomorrow. Yeah. It was there two months later, too. <laughs> no, I didn't listen to my doctor. I thought I knew more than him. Well, I'm going to get up. And I, oh, I wasn't allowed to take the kids. I couldn't drive to take the kids to school, which I didn't understand that. But now I do. I mean, what if I had a wreck, you know? Right. No. Uh, no pressure, quick healing. Yeah. Pocket prayer shawl. But you will feel better with uh, what if something was wrong with you before and the reason why you had it, you're going to feel much better. I did. I know I did. That's probably one of the best surgeries I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Well, think about it. It's all men's fault. Menopause. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all their fault. What was Ooh. the other one? Oh, you know, well, menstrual, you know, men. It's got the word yeah. men, men. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Anybody in here? <laughs> Oh, I got to take out a couple stitches. I got carried away with going down the side. Now, you probably could go around this again. Or if you had some little lace, if you want to make it real decorative, put a little lace on it. Glue it on there, I guess. I don't know. Stitch it on there. Whip out the old sewing machine. and <laughs> You crazy? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> all right. So I got mine all the way around. No, I didn't. I didn't do it there yet. But I'm saying that's what it looks like. 
Stick that in there. There's that one. I've been listing. I release, <clears throat> but haven't I? Right quick. That's right. I had mine like 20, 26 years ago. Don't don't feel bad for um, taking you time. Right. Take all the you time you can get. I think the only part about the hysterectomy that I didn't like is when the doctor come in there and shoved a pillow in my stomach and said, cough. Oh, wow. I them said, are you nuts? I can barely breathe. <laughs> Wow. That's well, they don't want manner. they don't want you to get pneumonia because you are on that morphine. Where they convince you that this is a pump. Whenever you need the morphine, you can push this pump. Not you only get to push it like once every hour. <laughs> you can push it as often as you want. It's just not going to release that <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm down here to the, my end now. And I'm, I'm going to tie up right here to a slip stitch. Tie Missy, off. are you still in here? All right. All right. I was thinking little, um, like hearts or stars in red, white, and blue for Missy. Yeah. Little snowflakes. So one, two, three, four. With the thread. You know, I think I did do four. It would only make sense. Two, three, one, two, three. I'm only two, three. So I'm just going to repeat it. Do you do like three in the corners or anything like that? Uh, yeah, square them up. I do. Um, one, yeah, three. Three singles in the corner. Don't put any chains in there. My chat quit talking. Everybody working on stuff. They're getting this done, yes. It's getting cold again. I told you how cold it was here. I know, I can't. Them numbers make me cold. <laughs> I heard. Friend said, some almanac said we were going to have three blizzards this winter. No. No. Three? Three. Well, didn't you guys just get some snow here um, within the some last week or something? Around Thanksgiving time. Yeah, a little, but not much. 
there wasn't anything that stuck. At least not here. Well, yeah, because it turned around and got warm the next day. <clears throat> the coughing was not fun, no. <laughs> Never been so aware of my belly button. Yeah, I'd rather have the laparoscopic surgery. But after so many of them, you lose your belly button. Very cold. It's been very cold in California. What? I always thought California was always warm. I'm still here. I'm working on ten minutes. Be ready to send out. Ooh. Can't wait to see what I get. I'm what? excited, Lydia. What did well, you get? Time I, every time I see her, she's working on something different. And she goes, I'm going to put one in your box too, Jen. Oh, okay. She's collecting little things for me that she's making. Oh. Sixties in the daytime, thirties. That just doesn't seem right, does it, Rita? Sixty during the day and thirty in the morning. We got thirty-seven here now. But see, this the funny thing with us is this week is going to be cold, but next week it'll be seventy and eighty. Maybe not eighty, but it'll be yeah. up there. It won't feel like no winter time. I Google laparoscopic to understand. Oh, well, we know you ain't had any female problems if you didn't know what laparoscopic was. <laughs> well, laparoscopic doesn't have to be just female either. Well, that's true. You're right. Well, I don't know. What else do they do laparoscopic for? Gallbladder. They take your gallbladder. They can. Oh, well, I know laparoscopic is burning. Does it help with recovery? It's just an invasive surgery that doesn't require all the downtime as it would if they opened you up like that. Right. I would rather have. I didn't know they can take your gallbladder out through laparoscopic. Topic. Yeah, that's how I had mine taken out. I had four incisions. Um, like they use one for the camera, one for, I don't know, the other ones were for the instruments. But I think one, one hole was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> My son had laparoscopic surgery to remove his. Oh, append. Oh, they do that on appendix too. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I know. Um, isn't the gallbladder smaller than the appendix? Like a kidney, like a little pea-sized kidney. You no. Know, if your appendix is bigger than my pinky finger, you, you could die. You yeah, could. It could burst. Small. I thought they were small. The gallbladder is bigger than that, I'm sure. But anyway, I would rather have the uh, laparoscopic to have them removed than to open you up like they used to, you know, where you had that big old scar. Well, I got the big old scar for my hysterectomy. My aunt had the same surgery right after, after me, but they went up and through. So she didn't have that big old scar. Yeah. I'm like, what's wrong with my doctor? Come to find out my doctor wasn't a doctor much after that. Oh, wow. He, I don't know, had some kind of temper tantrum in the hospital and quit. Just, I mean, threw a fit and quit. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Sayonara. 
Why is it so hot here in Chicago? It's because you're there, Crystal. That's why. I can't. I've had the one um, cut open hysterectomy. I cannot imagine going through that same again because it is still sensitive. And that was back in 2011, so 12 years ago. Wow. I didn't even think they did it, period. Did what? Cut you open for open, a Yeah, open you up for it. I didn't think they did that, period. Mm-hmm. So do you think maybe he's one of them old-timer doctors that that's what he knew how to do very well and yeah and i mean there's there's no complications i don't have any complications from it at all um he did he did good i was awake the whole time what yeah he said you want you want to be knocked out i said do i have to be no i said okay so we get in the room and they got my arms out and they've got this one locked down and they're working on this one. I'm like, what are you doing? We have to, <laughs> we have to put your hands out because we don't want you to help the doctor. I'm like, oh, hmm. <laughs> that, that's a little too claustrophobic for me. Don't do that. Don't tie me down. So I said, I have an itch on my nose. Can you just undo? We can undo one, but you better promise not to help the doctor. <laughs> no, it's right here. Move over a little closer. <laughs> I've got an inch of my nose. And then I was fine. One out was, I was okay. I mean, I, it just sat there, you know, but to be strapped down, mm, that, that does a number to your head. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. Yeah, laparoscopic is so much better. I mean, it's it's a painful numbness where they cut through everything. Yeah, I like the instead of putting the stitches in you i like the how did you get around so fast oh that looks good use the liquid glue is it is it called liquid glue or liquid band-aid or something like that uh i um, I know you could buy over the counter liquid band aid, but yeah, I guess it would be a liquid band aid. Well, I call it liquid glue, liquid band aid. You do have an epidural. <laughs> that's all I, I, that's all I did though, was just waist down. It is painful, but laparoscopic is, I would say 90% better. I mean, less healing time, big time. Mm -hmm. button on it I feel that'd be good yeah I'm sure it's painful nonetheless yes it is I honestly don't remember mine all I remember is uh, my doctor coming in there and throwing a pillow in my stomach saying cough I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and Natty Crochet, ah. hi, welcome. Hello, hello. Oh, 
All right, I think I'm going to stop there and give it, a, I'm going to stretch mine a little bit so that, give it that play. I'm going to do one more row so it'll be on that side. I found that if you're right-handed, when you get down here to the end, finish on the right side so you can slip stitch into it a lot easier. Wait, say it again. When you get down here, have your uh, stitch on the right side so that you can slip stitch into these a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Yes. Another lie. She made show and tell of all the yarn she got. Cool. Two, three, four. So I thought about um like stars or hearts or something just small enough for them to put in their pocket. What do you think about that, Missy, with your thin yarn? Or make it, you know, like a pin. Yeah. A pen of a star. All right. So that's how I got mine. And then I'll re reinforce it. So. <clears throat> There you go. Just make like a, a packet or um, a pin of like a heart or a star shaped. And there's mine. Natty Crochet would like you to tell her what we're making. These are, what do we call them? They're a last minute gift ideal for you to make for anybody that, you know, this is a little journal book from the dollar store, $1.25. Make a little uh, pencil holder thing. If you know somebody that crochets, um, make one of these. Put a crochet hook and a pencil in there because we're always looking for, where's my hook and where's my crochet hook <laughs> or pencil, ink pen. Just the last minute gift ideal. You got a grand total of less than $4 right here to give a gift. And a couple hours making it. Yeah. Took us, what, two hours? But we were yakety yak, yak, yak. And I'm slow. Yes, Lori. Do not want to rub your belly up against nothing. It is painful. So I made I've made several of them. I don't even know where they're at. Now this one is done with the these three are all the same stitch, single crochet. This one's got knots on it. It's really good for somebody that needs texture. You can make it for looks nice, Ivy. I'm almost there. Okay. Like if uh you have an autistic grandchild and they like to doodle, get them a little book like that. Put a couple of crayons. You can probably make this even like a crayon if you wanted to put a couple of crayons in there for little kids. Oh, yeah. May I see the back? Yes. It's just a little chain uh, chain three all the way down it. Who likes to use paper planners? Yep. And it can be used for even a big old notebook. Um this here's my notebook but I have one here so see it would look just like this now I did not do that if I was going to put button up there so this will latch onto the button so it hang around stick a couple ink pens in there for somebody But I didn't really like the button and the hair tie. 
I just didn't like that. Because you think about it. Over time, the hair tie is going to get loose, stretchy. Yep. I had to try to make one. Okay, it's real simple. All you do is start out with a chain 11 down here. Doesn't matter if you use a four weight, three weight, two weight. The smaller the uh, yarn or thread, the longer it's going to take. But um, just a chain 11, go back and forth, back and forth. This is five, five and a half inches. And this was seven. So 12. And it all depends on the book that you have. That's all it is. This is mine so far. I put a button loop here. Gosh, can she's you see been, it? Yeah, she put did a button the closure one. And I'll put a button down here and it'll close. Mm -hmm. and then I have to still do my strap that goes around it yet. You know, also, I bet you if you had a pair of sunglasses, you could probably put your sunglasses in there. Yep. I don't know if it'd be wide enough, really. Well, this would be what? Your readers might fit in this. Yeah. Let me see. There you go. I don't that know why you wouldn't. Yeah. Keep up <laughs> for his old ladies. For his old ladies, got to have their <laughs> readers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sewing in some ends, but I haven't done my if you can make strap yet. The clip to hang off a bag. Uh, I'm sure you could make a just make a strap this well instead of the strap going this way, make the strap go from one end to the um, from there to there. For what? She said she wondered if it could hang off the per a clip to hang off a, a bag. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um well if I had a clip, I just put mine up. I had a bunch of them laying out. Yeah, I bet you could put a uh, a big O ring or key ring, whatever you want to call it. You could probably clip it onto there. Wait, I love you. For some in glasses a little wider. Yes, One you of those pens with uh like the pom pom on the end of it, yeah. Or the stars that have the the sequins that you you know push up their one color, you push them down there another color. Let's see. Oh, yeah. to your car, yeah. So there, looky there, we've come up with a lot of things we could use them for. Yeah. What is the last minute um, gift ideas? See, and Jean's almost done with hers. Yeah, I was talking about little, you know, little things that you could glue on it. Sandrine, did you see these? I made these several years ago. These are resin. I was going to make keychains out of them, but I got in trouble for <laughs> this. Was an ice cube um, silicone mold, mold, and I poured resin in it and I made all these. But I'm saying you could do one. Um, you could do school colors and put a school letter. This is ours in Alabama. So you could do that and put that on there. That's cool. Like it better on the white. Get off that purple over there. <laughs> <laughs> so you could put it on there like that. That would be pretty. I got to find the rest of these. I don't know where they're all at. I made like... Dozens of them. Dozens of them. See, <clears throat> she likes that. I know she would like that. 
Naughty crocheter says, oh, I like that a lot. The letter. <laughs> yeah. A little too big i think i would have to make this a little bit maybe a 12 wide for that to sit on there what are we making next week what would you guys like to make is there anything that you want to see or i hope everybody enjoyed this because um, like I said, it started out, I was going to do a video about doing last minute gift ideals, real, real quick, last minute gift ideals and led to this. I'm going to do the gift card folders. Hi, Sanja. What? Go oh, Sanja. Yeah. You want to make a gnome one? <laughs> I'm going to learn to do the daisy with stems with yarn. With thin yarn. Those will be tiny. What about a phone holder? could do that too could do that i've been trying well, to figure it out could be the, the same it. thing what we're doing right now may i use this if i make it sure sure That's why awesome. not Okay, Rita says yes, gift card holders. Okay, we got gift card holders. We got, look, the car coasters. Let me tell you, <laughs> when we bought our new uh, Hyundai, Hyundai, I went and bought the silicone cups to put into the um, um, drink holder things mm -hmm. so that it wouldn't make a mess in it. That's what I put in mine. Got the round cupcake ones is what I'm saying. The big cupcake ones to set down in the uh, holders. I did something small. I like feeling accomplished. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Since I got mine done, I'm going to turn my camera back around. Can you hang on one minute? Yep. Can you take control for one minute? <laughs> I have no control. None. <laughs> I'm gonna make coasters for the car. Those are simple. Are you making them as gifts or just, just to make them? This is my, you guys, if, you, if you're low on a budget and you need a stand for doing tutorials, put your webcam on. You put your webcam up here. Take these little clips to hold it down with. And there you go. You can move your camera where it goes up and down. That's what I use because <laughs> I'm cheap. Hey, that's, that's genius good. thinking. It's just a stand. That's all it is. Nothing special. That's genius thinking. Should say gear shift cover. Oh, not cheap, smart. Yep. I get in trouble for being I just saw um, somebody put up a video for a steering wheel cover. Like, wow. Down here in the south, man, in the summertime, you get in your car. That steering wheel is so freaking hot. The seat. <laughs> the seat is hot, too. 
Yeah. I know you guys get hot seats too. I know. I ain't saying that we're special down here. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. So we got a coaster, car coaster, cup holder. Good night, dear. I love you too. Sweet dreams. Right, Lori. Yes, cotton. You have air for your seats? I know I got seat warmers, but I don't know about air for my seats. I have drove a car with air in the seat. Oh, boy. Is it good? Oh, it's nice. Oh. In the summertime, it's nice. Wintertime, you don't know they exist. <laughs> Apparently, steering covers are not allowed. Oh, wow. Why? What? <clears throat> Why is that? Is it... Uh... Maybe they're too slippery. You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out why it would. Oh, you have both? I don't even know what's in my car. I've only... Um, okay, I think Mindfully Crochet has went live, you guys. I don't want to. No, wait. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, no. She just did it. Hello, and welcome to. She just did it. I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I'm not sure. Safety. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the safety in it. If you can't grip your steering wheel because you've got yarn on your steering wheel, that's a hazard. You know how you're, when you're holding the steering wheel, your hands could slip. That would be uh, a, considered a hazard. Whether they would enforce about, it, I don't know. What about an ornament? Hmm. I've never made one, so we would probably end up having to do somebody else's tutorial because now I'm glad you reminded me of that. Before right. next live, I'm going to show you. I did um, beaded ones and I really loved them. What is it? Put uh, stitch beads, did little designs like this on an ornament, made uh, a beaded ornament. They can get loose and you try to turn the wheel, but only the cover moves. I understand, yeah. I've made Christmas ornaments. Oh. Good, Rita. Then you need to come up here and uh, teach a class. What about that? Uh, hey, let's vote. Rita's going to come and do a class for us. Whoop, whoop. Give a thumbs up if you want Rita to do it. <laughs> There's four. Oh, we're getting up. We're getting up, Rita. <laughs> She knows I'm joking with her. She will one of these days. She's going to shock the tar out of me and say, all right, I'll do it. Look, Lori's See? in too. Look at the love. Look at look the, the love. love. Well, look at more and more. Look, everybody's giving you thumbs up, Rita. We're so excited. <laughs> when you want to do it, Rita. She's going to say, I'm done with you girls. <laughs> <laughs> Still another thumbs up. We're get, everybody in here is giving you thumbs up, Rita. You can do it. <laughs> yes. Oh, Look, it'd be even so night fun. Says, Did you give me a thumbs up? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, Rita. It'd be so much fun. Look how she says, "Love you guys." I bet the next one is, but not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. 
I love you, but I'm out of here now. Nope. We still have 25 here. Yay. Oh my God, you're going to get it. I, mean, I knew she would. <laughs> <laughs> send me send me to my corner <laughs> all right beat is on I, button did, is you on. did you get yours done got my button on there awesome nightbot is also in agreement yeah i saw that rita's <laughs> we love you rita that i like that. i like that it's a strap Yay. Mm hmm You did good. I like that. So are we going to have to do us a, uh, a wheel and put the things on the wheel and spin the wheel like everybody else is doing now? I put a button on mine too, Jen. You and Rennell are thinking alike. We can do. Oh, cool, Rennell. Um, we can do all the things. They're just not going to be all done by, by Christmas. So whatever you want is a Christmas gift. I guess well, that would take precedence. Well, think, save some of them for Valentine's Day. For Valentine's. A community post. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Well, I wish I had a wheel that would give me some fortune. Right? If it's a tutorial class, then yay. I like teaching. I just don't know if I do it well enough. Because I haven't done it that much, really. Whisper. Whisper. These, these <laughs> simple things like this is kind of easy to um, get your feet wet again. I have a heart cookie tutorial you can borrow. Oh, Crystal, well, you can teach the next class. Come up. Let's go. Yes. Not tonight. I got to go to bed. What time is it? Whoa. 11.03. <laughs> it's mid after midnight. <laughs> yes, it's mid It's three minutes after midnight. Yes. A book club. Thursday and I'm only halfway through. I gotta go read now. Okay. Good night, Lori. Good night, Lori. Get to feeling Feel better. Fast. Do what the doctor says. Yes. You only get better with practice. I know. Thank you, Rita. It's only nine o'clock for Rita. Crystal, we already got your number. Yes. So Good to see you too, Missy. So we're 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 looking forward to seeing crystals. No, Crystal, you don't have a big mouth. I love it that you got a big mouth. I yes, did my sir. own show by. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe Missy can do one with us too. Ooh. Yeah, she said she makes something. What'd you make? What'd you say? I'll have to scroll back and see. Yeah, it's 11.04 here. This crystal's got a few, a few. Yes. But off to bed. We can make. Okay. See you next week and on the uh, YouTube streets. Thanks for coming in. There you go. Missy's on board. <laughs> oh well at least we got one <laughs> one out of three ain't bad it could be fun for each one of us to think of something yeah there's lots of tuesdays in a year there's five sundays this year this month in december yep that's not paydays, though. That only matters when there's paydays involved. No, I shots. I got to take five shots this month instead oh. of four. Oh. 
I guess it doesn't matter. I got to take them anyway. So yeah, there's the same amount of weeks, 52 yeah. weeks in a year. I know it. That's all I was thinking. It's like, what? I got five weeks. This crystal. You're okay. Well, thanks for being here. Appreciate you saying something. Hello, Kay. Kathy. Welcome in. Rita, she is cute. Joy, joy, joy. Down in She's happy. <laughs> Next Friday is payday for Crystal. Well, yep, Michigan Fine Yarns is this Saturday. Yeah, she was one. No, if you're going to pick her up. Oh, oh that's a four hour one way. Oh, she's going to meet you halfway. Halfway? I don't know. Because then we have to go all the way up and not up into Michigan, but up by Detroit. It is too cold to be going out and buying yarn. I'm sorry. Sit at home and buy it on the internet. But this is the good time to be using the yarn. Hey, check on that uh, Ann yarn. Because I think they're getting rid of it in the United States. Oh. The store that I usually got, Webs, they stopped carrying it. Uh oh. And a lot of well, other stores have stopped carrying it. I think it's been clearanced out over there since, well, since before I sent it to you last time. I'll have to uh, send you some money and have them, <laughs> have them ship it to me. <clears throat> you don't have to stop the car. I'll run. <laughs> Swing by and pick up Sunita on the way through. You guys just have a girl day. Oh my, it's going to be a girl day anyways. And Mark will probably be there. Dee's husband. Should I Rest be sitting in the car? I would not get out. It's too cold. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just do the driving for you. That's it. <laughs> it's, you park right by the door. If you get there first. It's too cold. I'm not getting out. It gets colder the, the the further north we go. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does get cold. Okay, guys. Well, Jen is going to go to bed now. I am. I have to work tomorrow. And I'm going to have to let you go. I don't have to. I don't have to. But. Let somebody else come on. If they don't, maybe I'll come on later. I don't know. Somebody coming on? I don't know. I, I ain't been over to YouTube, so I, I don't want to mess with anybody. So. I don't see anybody. Sandra, did you get yours done? Oh, and, oh, and another thing, guys. I put Velcro on the back of my phone. And put it on. I got Velcro on my stand when I want the. There's the Velcro. When I want to use the 18 inch one, I put my phone on it. I take this one and put it up here. I put my phone on it and it goes straight down. And I do video off my phone that way. Isn't she so smart? But always keep an extra part of the Velcro. <laughs> to put on there because it will get snagged on everything. <laughs> oh, if you're yeah. doing yarn, it will snag the yarn. So I keep the Velcro on the back. Yeah, I don't like bags that are Velcro closures. Yeah. You put yarn in there, you put it right past that. Psh, yeah. Catch that yarn. Oh. Good night, Miss Rita. All right. So everybody say good night, good night, good night. And Good we night. shall see you next Tuesday. And we'll do something. Don't know what. Yeah. We'll do something. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye. Hey. Good night. Love you. See you later, Gators. Bye. Bye. Good night, Jen. Good night. Let me find the end. Look at her. She just jumped off like that didn't she? she's like i'm through with this winch i'm gone see y'all later